Hey guys! So in today's video, I'm actually just going to do a quick review on the Vidal Sassoon Pro Series, the Smooth line. This will actually be my second video that I've done on this particular line from Vidal Sassoon. And I will link the first... Bleh, I will link the first video that I did on the moisture uh, shampoo, conditioner, and the heat protectant. I will link that video down below. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check that one out probably first before you watch this one. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to tell you my experiences with the product. And um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started, okay? So the first thing that I want to talk about are the shampoo the conditioner this is what the bottle looks like and it just says smooth on it the other one had a blue um, moisture on it and um, let me just tell you a little bit about what it says on the back it says the VS smooth shampoo cleanses and tames frizzy hair by helping to stop frizz before it starts leaving your hair looking smooth and manageable our Sassoon experts have designed this rich conditioning formula to help keep your hair smooth while decreasing frizz and leaving hair silky and sleek VS smooth for hair that's fashionably fashionably silky and sleek so I'm not exactly sold on this particular kind of shampoo and conditioner and I'm going to tell you why. The first thing is is that I have really sensitive skin, not just on my face, but sensitive skin all over my body. So when I use something that doesn't agree with me, my body will react, whether it's, you know, it breaks me out or it itches or, you know, something like that just tells me, okay, listen, something's not right and you're using something that I don't like. This has really set something off with the back of my neck. It's the back of my neck um, right underneath my hairline. And um, I started noticing about two to three times after I used it, um, it started getting like really sensitive. And so I started feeling back there and it was actually causing me to break out on the back of my neck, like I said, right underneath my hairline. So that is con number one. Um, and so I have, I have had to stop basically using it, um, altogether because it has really caused some issues on the back of my neck. Now that is just me personally, not saying that's going to happen to you whatsoever. Second thing is, is that it doesn't keep my hair clean. I feel like it doesn't keep my hair clean as long as the moisture line did. The moisture line, I could go and buy two to three days of without, you know, of not washing my hair. And by the third day, you know, then I would feel like, okay, yeah, my hair is completely unmanageable and it really needs to be washed. With this, the next day after I wash it, you know, right or I'm dousing my hair in dry shampoo. So this stuff really doesn't, I really don't feel like it keeps my hair um, clean as long as, you know, any other shampoo that I've used really has done. And problem number three is that it does not control my frizz, nor it hasn't helped with, like, my sleek and my shininess. The heat protectant that I use and the Garnier Sleek and Shine, the Moroccan oil, really helps with that. And when I didn't, I have tested it without using the heat protectant or any other product, um, you know, my hair just looks dull. It just really doesn't look like it's you know, shiny and what I'm used to seeing. So this stuff really doesn't help me with shininess or my flyaways or frizz or anything like that. So like I said, I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing this particular brand of the Vidal Sassoon Pro Series. So sorry, um, you know, I was really hoping to like this stuff as much as I liked the moisture, but to have it, have my body react to it, and just for me to see a noticeable difference like that, it was enough for me to, you know, really not use it anymore. Ouch. <laughs> then, um, I also got this. This is the, the Vidal Sassoon. This is also with the Smooth line. This is the combing cream, and the combing cream says, Via Smooth Smooth Combing Cream provides intense conditioning to smooth out frizz and flyaways for hair that's so sleek it shines. A professionally inspired formula for a fashionable sleek look. 
Now this says to use it, use a dime size amount on towel dried hair. I have tried that and I remember talking in a video saying that I might up the amount that I was going, that I was using because of how much hair I actually have because I wasn't seeing any difference whatsoever with it with using a dime size amount. So I kind of went up to like a nickel size amount and with the nickel size amount still didn't really notice anything you guys. Um, it doesn't help. This doesn't help with my flyaways. It once again, it doesn't help with the the sleekness or the shininess of my hair. It really doesn't do anything for it. Um, it also says that I can use it on dry hair as well. So I have, but it also says to keep it away from your roots. And obviously, I'm not going to just dump it onto my roots. But I've tried it in you know every way possible that I could and I've used a good size amount of it I mean I've had both of, I've had all of these for about three and a half weeks now so I mean I've used you know a, about a quarter of it I would say and um, I feel like I've given it you know a good enough chance in my book um, and it just really hasn't done anything for me so definitely won't be repurchasing that either then it's not a part of the smooth line but it is a part of the series it's the Vidal Sassoon this is the flexible hold hairspray and um, this is the number two and they had this one and then they had the mega hold and I went ahead and got this because I don't like sticky I don't like um, I just don't like any of that on my hair and when I do my curling you know using my straightener they're soft curls I really don't I really feel like even if I didn't use hairspray um, you know the curl would would hold so I just I went ahead and pick up picked up this one and you know I'm pleasantly surprised with this um, you know it doesn't have an overpowering scent the smell of this reminds me of the suave hairspray the new Suave Hairspray that came out. This this scent reminds me of that. Um, and, I mean, yeah, this, you know, this is a really, really decent hairspray. It's right around my Aussie hairspray. Not quite there yet. I really liked my Awesome Volume hairspray um, from Aussie. But um, this one says... The VS Flexible Hold Hairspray provides a lightweight formula that provides flexible hold and helps lock out frizz, helping you keep fashionable hair all day long. It claims up to 24-hour hold even in humidity, helps lock out frizz for smooth hair, provides flexible hold that's not sticky. The flexible hold that's not sticky, that's definitely true. It doesn't make your hair feel hard or sticky or anything like that. Um, the 24 hours, I don't really know if that's true. Um, I would say, you know, for about a, for about a work day. So I would say, you know, eight to nine hours, maybe seven to eight hours. You know, this stuff will definitely do the trick for that. You know, I put like a little bit um, right here on the side because I have all these little baby hairs, and that and that does help with those as well. Um, I have a hair somewhere in my face. Anyway. Um, so yeah, and this was like $3, and this was, I think this whole line is pretty much around the $3 range. So um, I'm definitely going to be um, picking up one of these when I run out, and um, you know, possibly try the, the Mega Hold one too. So yeah, that's it you guys, that's my, my review on them. I'm sorry if you guys were so excited, and I was excited too, for me to really enjoy this particular line, and I'm super sad that it just didn't work out for me and my hair. So I'm sorry, and if it works for you, then I'm so happy for you, honestly, if it works for you. What better than to find a, you know, a drugstore shampoo that does everything you want it to do. I found that in the moisture one. So I'm definitely going to be going and picking that back up. And still debating on if I want to try the color, the color line. I'm still debating on that one. I'm up, uh, I'm up in the air on that one. So... That's it, guys, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of those links will be down below, and my foundation routine that you guys are wanting to see, that video is coming up next. That will be up in two days, so I will talk to you guys all very soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.